the stage of history. What's good, everybody? What's going on, Lockout Men? Back with another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. I want to thank everybody that enjoys these videos, man. I, I appreciate you guys watching. And I appreciate the uh, the recruiters giving me their time to uh, talk to us, to let us know about their companies. It's very great, very great. Well, what's going on, everybody? I am here in Ohio, uh, right here at the Hollywood Casino. My load don't deliver until later on this evening. So you guys know what that means, right? Yes, I got some time on my hands. And I will utilize that by calling a, a recorder for you. But before I get into all of that good stuff here, I want you guys to go. If you haven't done it already, I want you guys to go and download Driver Pulse. Yes, the Truck Driver's Guide to getting any truck driving jobs there is all you got to do is make yourself a profile type uh put in the type of jobs that you want click send and everybody that's in the network would either call you they'll call you they'll call you trust me once you put an application out there just be ready for an influx of phone calls emails text messages trust me they, they're gonna come they're gonna come i still got people in my inbox trying to get at me man trying to get at me driver pulse make sure you download it all right this oh by the way this isn't sponsored by driver pulse um, i promote the app because i really like it a lot and actually the app really helped me out uh, in my journey to finding another job after I was let go from uh, U.S. Express. Uh, when I got the call from Jan R. Schwugel, uh definitely Driver Pulse was a part of the research. Jan R. Schwugel is part of the network. I was able to do my research on there and boom, here I am. Jan R. Schwugel proud. All right. He, okay, let me wait. Let me let me tell you guys something for a minute. Hold up. Let me tell you something right quick. All right. I like JNR Schwugel. I have no problems with JNR Schwugel. I am very happy with JNR Schwugel. All right. Wonder why I do these call videos. I do it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Uh, when I was looking for my first truck driving jobs it wasn't nothing like this on youtube you know never got a chance to to hear what a company had to offer you know what i'm saying i guess if i knew that if there was different companies out there i probably wouldn't have went with us express like i did in the beginning but now that i'm bringing this to you guys this gives you the opportunity to hear what that company has to offer from a recruiter of that company. Not only that, but to keep the recruiter honest. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of recruiters out there, well, they, they just want to get you in the seat and move on to the next person, you know? That's all. That's that's what I do it. That's that's why I do this. All right. Some people out there in YouTube land probably thinks it's stupid. Some people in YouTube land probably thinks it's dumb and all like that. Well, if you want to uh, know about the company, why don't you talk to the driver? I do. I do talk to the drivers. I do. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I just got finished talking to a Mercer driver. So. If you guys want to know about Mercer, put it in the comments and I'll put it on the list to be called. But yeah, I, I, I talk to drivers all the time. Like me, for example. I talk about JNR Schrugel all the time. 
If you guys want to know about JNR Frugal, give me a call and I will talk to you about it. And if I don't have the answers, Katie, she has the answers. You know what I'm saying? And don't just take my word for it. Please don't. You know, when you get, if you come over to JNR Frugal, you get hired on with JNR Frugal. If something goes wrong with you and JNR Frugal, that's your experience with JNR Frugal. I put it out there. I, there's ups and downs every day, but I do have a good fleet manager, and this is a good company. Now, is it a great company? No, 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 no companies is great. You know what I'm saying? None of the companies are great out here. Is this a good company? I don't know. I, I'm only talking from my experience. You see what I'm saying? I only been with two companies. This one and US Express. I gotta raise down the window a little bit. Which one do I like the best? There ain't no best. There's no best in anything. JNR Swoogle is comfortable for me. And I like it. And I'm gonna ride it out until the sun until the sunset. Let's let's get into my my fault. Let's let's get into this episode, man. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. So I got uh, <laughs> I got a comment. Uh, con uh, one of my subscribers uh, commented, and they want me to make a phone call. Last week's phone call was was based off of a Facebook post, but this one. Uh, one of my subscribers want to know about this particular company and it comes from Look, I can't pronounce your first name. All right Chavez Chavez I am not good with names yo. All right, so don't get mad at me I'm just just not good with names All right, and as always it's 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 gonna be up on the screen somewhere, but here it is What's up shine? Could you call Ship X Transportation? And they had it, they had it commented twice. Now, Ship X Transportation, I'm not too much familiar with. Um, I did go to uh I did go to a YouTuber, and I'm I'm still waiting on you, bruh. I'm still waiting on you. I'm telling you, man, your your content is great. And it's it's on the lines of what me and you do, bruh. Waiting for that car, uh, waiting for that car, yo. Trucking answers. He did. Uh, he did um, uh, one of his episodes of doing it better, I believe. And Ship X Transportation was a company that was doing it better. I thought it was interesting. My subscriber wants to hear from him. Reviews. Here we go. Ship X, 4.5 rating. 91% uh, recommended to a friend. 36% uh, of the CEO. One of the best decisions of my life. Uh, pros, you are a name, not a number. Salary paid, paid insurance. Pets welcome, dispatch always available. You can pick your own truck color. No judgment, no chaining. You have to stop and wait until safe to proceed and it won't affect your pay. Uh, Ship Bets responded in one of those in one of the comments. Thank you so much for taking the time to create a review of Ship Bets. We work to treat every driver in our fleet with respect. It's fantastic to hear that you enjoy driving with Sipets so much, and we look forward to continue to drive together for many, many years. So that's it for the reviews. I like it. I, I like it so far. I like it so far. Let's um let's go ahead and see what Sipets got to say. But let me see if I can pull it up on Driver Pulse first. Sipets Transport. Right there on driver pulse. Ship X, this is Cooper. Hey Cooper, how's it going, man? 
I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I'm digging the name, man. I'm digging the name, Cooper. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, okay. I, I, um, my name's Sean. And Sean? Yeah, I came across, uh, I came across you guys' company, uh, via, uh, you know, via drivers. You know, we was talking about, um, about ship ads. And I came across right. this uh, one YouTube video, and they, you know, they was talking about ship X. So a uh -huh. uh, you know, a couple of other guys that, you know, that's, you know, that I'm, that I'm, you know, asking questions for, they want to know about mm -hmm. ship X, man. So I'm, I'm hoping that you can give me some time so I can find out a little bit about ship X, yo. Yo, yeah, no problem. I can give you all the time you need, bro. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. All right. Uh, are you guys do you guys sponsor uh a company sponsored training do y'all train for cdls and all like that no we do not we don't train for cdls we re, we're uh we require experience we need at least 18 months of over the road experience in the past three years okay okay what's your guys what's, what's your guys higher areas our hiring areas mm -hmm. where where you look where are you located? Where do you call home? Well, I call home Ohio. Cleveland. Ohio? Yes, sir. All right. So Ohio is definitely in our hiring area. And with you being in Ohio, I can get you home every two every two weeks. And okay. with each week that you're out with us, it's, you know, you get one paid day at home. So if you want to stay out four weeks at a time, that's four days at home that are paid for. Okay. Okay. Where's uh, Where's the terminal located at? So we got one terminal and it's here in Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, because you know I'm I'm asking about the terminal because like you know for whatever reason, uh, if something should happen, you know I I at least want to know if I can I can get back home. You know what I'm saying? If if a terminal right, is, I got if you. A, if a terminal is too far and I gotta I gotta bring the you know truck back to the terminal. For whatever reason, I you know at least I want to make sure I got a way to get home, you know, like that. Um, what oh, I got gotcha. you. What about uh, what about sign-on bonuses? You guys have sign-on. So, so we don't really call it a sign-on bonus. We call it more of an orientation pay. Mm -hmm. So if you decide to come on with us, you know, you'll come out. We'll fly you out here on Sunday. We'll put you up in a hotel room, and then orientation. We'll you'll do your road test and drug test Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And then in-class orientation will be on Wednesday and Thursday, and that'll be like truck assignments, getting enrolled in our insurance, and going over procedures and all that good stuff. Okay. And then you're, you'll be dispatched out on Friday. But once you're dispatched out and you cross Utah state lines, we'll issue you $1,000 to your EFS check code. Oh, okay. And that, way, and that way you can go cash that sucker right when you get out of Utah. It comes out to about 923 after taxes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's say I'm interested in coming on the board and I talk with uh, other companies. Let's say they offer like a five cent difference. Would you guys be able to match that? Um, I honestly, I can't give you a good answer for that. I would have, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to approve any of that or negotiate, you know, wages. That would have to be run up the flagpole. Ah, okay, okay. Do you guys require a hair follicle test for pre-employment drug testing? Yes, sir, we do. All right. Now, let me ask you this question. What if I'm bald head? I mean, <laughs> what, 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 if, what if I'm bald head? What, what, what would be the alternative for that? They, they can, you know, either take it from your arm, your armpit, or we could do nail, a nail follicle. A nail follicle? Okay. Right, because your nails and your nails and your hairs are made of the same proteins. Okay, okay. Um, all right, break break that down for me, right quick, because I I'm not hip to a nail follicle. What what they what they do for nails? I mean, how what, what they do? Just scrape? Yeah, they're just you know just like you just regularly you know clip your nails. I would hope so. Just you know cutting off that little end right end white piece. Okay. Okay. That's that's the first time nail follicle. Okay. I gotta add that. To no. You. Yeah. We we've had some guys come in with that hair follicle, and it's against their religion right. for them to cut their hair. So right. so we made a alternative route where we can do nails. Okay. 
I gotta, I gotta add that to my list of questions. Thank you. What about an agility test? Uh, do you require us to try to get in, get in out of the truck, get in out of the trailer, duck walk up under the trailer? I mean, we we want you to do a pre-trip. I I don't think that would be counted as an agility test. Oh, okay. All right. All right. What's your policies on felons? On what? Felons. On felons. Yes. It just depends. It just depends what the charge was and when it was. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like it's like a case by case. Stats. Right. So I'll 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 just shoot I'll shoot you a couple in our waiting time. So like possession or sales of marijuana. Mm -hmm. If it's a felony, it's five years. But if it's possession, sales or trafficking of an illegal substance other than marijuana, it's ten years. Mm -hmm. Theft is ten years. Assault is ten years. Kidnapping is ten years. Possession of a firearm is 10 years. Any sexual assault is not accepted. Um, any harm to a child is not accepted or murder is not accepted. All right. Um, all right, so you say the terminal is in Salt Lake City, so I'm assuming the orientation is in Salt Lake City as well. Right, and we'll, we'll fly you out here for the orientation. All right, how about, how about the, now let me ask you this. You know, I'm an experienced driver. Uh, would I uh -huh. have the whole, would I have the hotel room to myself? Oh hell yeah! Oh, okay. We don't we don't bunk guys together. All right, cool. All right, you already you already went over that we do get paid for orientation. That would be that one thousand dollars. That's that's uh, that would be in that first paycheck. That's cool. First paycheck. Okay. It actually it actually won't be in your first paycheck. So you'll be oh. dispatched out that Friday, uh -huh. and then like the second the second you cross Utah state lines, you can get that issued to you. So oh. that's just your orientation pay, and then the next Friday you'll get your first salary paycheck. Oh, okay. So that okay. So, and of course we're gonna cross state lines because I'm sure y'all not gonna give us nothing small on our first dispatch, right? Oh no, your first dispatch will either be to Oregon, Ohio or to Alabaster, Alabama. Okay, okay. Alright. Now do you guys hire new well no, 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 my fault. You said that you gotta at least have 18, 18 months. So I I'll I'll switch right. up from that. Okay. Uh do you guys have do you guys offer team drive there? Um I mean, we do we do have team drivers, but we just we're not really built for the freight. You know what I mean? Like right. we'll, our solo our solo drivers can get so many more miles if they're just going solo. Okay, what's the uh, starting CPM? CPU. CPM. <laughs> cent per mile. Oh, we don't. So we we don't pay a cent per mile. We pay oh. a base salary of sixty thousand dollars a year. Okay. Okay. So, that's, so with that salary, you know, you'll be, you get that same paycheck every single week, you know, whether, you know, it's shitty weather and it's snowing and you got to pull over and you can't drive or uh -huh. your truck breaks down, you're sitting at a shipper and taking forever to get loaded and uh -huh. it's not going to affect your paycheck. You're going to take home that same, same pay every single Friday. Oh, okay. So, but, but now let me ask you this. Let me throw you, let me throw you this curveball. What mm -hmm. if what if what if I do more than than what my standard salary is? Will I will I get paid more? Or all right. So we just came out with this new bonus structure. So so it starts at twelve thousand miles. You mm -hmm. think you can at least hit twelve thousand miles in a month? Mm -hmm. That's kind of kind of minimum for an over the road driver. You'd okay. say right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's say you just hit 12,000 miles in a month. That's a $250 bonus. Oh, if you okay. hit 12,500 in a month, it's a $500 bonus. Okay. If you hit 13,000, it's a $750 bonus. Say, let's say you have a killer month, you know, you hit 14,000 miles, that's $1,200 bonus. And those bonuses are paid out every month. Okay, that's good. That's awesome right there, man. And then, you know, have you, you think you could hit 1,500 miles plus in a month if they're, you know, given to you? I think I can do that. I think I can do that. that that's a that's a $1,700 bonus on top of your salary. Okay, okay. Man, all right. All right, do you guys offer pay advances? Yes, we do. I believe of uh, $200. Okay. 
Now let me ask you this. Now you said this uh the the pay structure, the salary pay structure is uh based on uh I mean based every week. But do you guys do you guys offer pay increases? Um yes, yeah, so that is I mean it's not we are, it's not really a pay increase. It's kind of so we want to reward, you know, longevity and, you know, uh what's it? loyalty, right? Right. You know, guys that are guys that are going to stay with us for years and years. Right. So let's see. If you got a minute, this is actually just on our website. It's just on the top right. It's just shipx.com, and we have a little salary calculator. Okay. So I can, you know, say, let's say you, let's say you're just averaging thir Let's let's just say thirteen thousand miles every month. All right. 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 Say you know zero years of experience with shipx because you've never driven with shipx. Mm -hmm. You know that that right there just brings your yearly earnings up to seventy three thousand dollars and seventy three five thousand dollars okay okay and then say you know you're with ship x for one year that goes up to 75k you're with us for two years that goes up to 77 and let's say you're with us for five that goes up to 82 five okay so it sounds like sounds like i can make money with this company okay okay Right, and you know, I'm not, I'm not just you know blowing smoke up your chimney to try and get you on. You know, I'm, I'm pulling these numbers off of our website. You know, you can go mess around with this yourself. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Do you? What about uh, since this is salary structure, do you guys do per diem there? Yes, I, I believe um, it's either three hundred or three hundred and fifty dollars of your check is counted towards per diem, so it's not taxed. Oh, okay. All right. Do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Um, yes, after you're with us for one year, you get five days of PTO. All right. Now, let me ask you this. You said five days. Is that going to be based on, uh, is that going to be paid on the structure that I get paid every week, or is that a, a different amount? What, what, what do you mean? All right. So, say, for example, I'm, let's say that I'm with a company and they pay for vacation, but they only pay like five hundred dollars for vacation pay do, uh -huh. do you guys do you guys do that just you know just for straight you know just for uh just for i i think they call it like a retention pay or something like that hmm i'm not i'm not a hundred percent on that okay all right yeah it, it's just with that with that five days of PTO. It's just you know those those five days that you want to take off. You'll you'll still get counted for your miles for those days, and you'll still be getting paid. Okay, all right. What about uh, breakdown in the? Well, I guess that would probably be a mute point because you said it's salary. So whether if I'm moving or not, I still get paid. So breakdown in yeah. deten detention pay is already self answered. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're you're broke down. You're still getting paid, brother. Okay. Do you guys require hazmat? Nope. All right. What benefits do you guys require? I mean, have. So we we will cover your medical premiums 100%. Oh. So that won't be coming out of your check. Oh, okay. Now that's medical. What about dental, uh, vision? You you can you can add those on for I know they're you know very low expense a month oh okay but uh but the but the health is 100 okay all right mm -hmm. see that's what some guys looking for they some guys is looking for that uh that 100 percent health is that for family as well or just for the driver it's just for the driver oh. you can add on your family but it, they're not covered 100 percent. okay okay all right so this is man I guess my other question about the miles, you know, that's that's probably a mute point too, being that it, that is salary. Okay, uh, what lanes are available? So we mainly run I eighty, I eighty four, and I forty. Okay. So mainly, mainly what you'll be doing, I'll give you a little little inside look. So we have we have a contract with a medical company, mm -hmm. and you'll just be pulling around like kidney dialysis stuff, like saline and like pumps for the. Like, to pump the kidney dialysis in, right? Right. So there's there's 14 of those distribution centers across the country, and it's mainly it's about 90 percent drop and hook, just taking freight from one distribution center to another. Okay. 
Okay. All right. I mean, you will you will get some broker loads for like backhauls and that sort of thing, but it's mainly just freight from point A to point B, point C, maybe back to point A. All right. Now, are, are all these is uh, dropping hooks or are they live loads? Um, open hook. I mean, there are live loads and unloads, but we we take out lumpers for those. Oh, okay, okay. Now, you did mention about home time. Can you go a, a little bit more detail on a home time policy? Yeah, so where where exactly in Ohio are you? All right, so I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland? Yes. All right, so the way that our home time is set up is with each week that you're out, you get one paid day off. You know, with that salary, you're going to get paid for your home time. So you can... It'll, it'll be every two to three weeks, but you know, it, it could get you home on two weeks, could get you home on three weeks. But if you want to stay out longer, you can. Like we have guys that stay out eight, nine weeks at a time and then they have eight days off in a row and they're all paid for. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so my fleet manager, man, how, how, many, how many drivers I got to share with them? With um, your, your DM? Yes. Uh, I think there's around like I don't I can't I I'm not sure to be honest with you. I know we have one DM that all the new hires go to, mm -hmm. and he's kind of he he kind of coaches them because you know when we when we bring guys on with ShipX, we kind of want to give them more coaching opportunities. You know if they if they have a mistake, we'd rather co coach them through it and you know potentially keep a driver than slapping them on a wrist and you know sending them on their way home i got you so sure. so you're he's he's kind of your coach dm you know while you're learning all of our lanes learning how you know ship x operates and you know just just trying to make you a better successful driver here at ship x okay um so you'll be with you'll be with him for your first month and then depending how that goes they'll transfer you to a different division and that'll most likely be your permanent dm all right. So what 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 do we uh mostly what will we mostly haul? Drive in? Do you guys have reefer? Do you guys have? Well, I I haven't seen they're, that flatbed. They're all um they're all they're all reefers. Are they reefers? Okay. Yeah, right. they're thermo kings. Okay. Uh, is there forced dispatch to New York City or California? Um, no, we don't go into New York into new york city in the first place i okay. we go into chester new york but not not the city okay what about what about california what what part of california don't you like we got um two distribution centers out there we got uh, one in shasta lake and apple valley yeah i don't like california period <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I, don't like yeah, I, I know. Here. I know they don't route them through like L.A. and all that, all right. that BS traffic. Right. So. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I know I, I spoke on this earlier. So, if I do decide to uh, quit for whatever reason, what is the policy for me to turn in the truck? You mentioned that I had to bring it. What? What, what is? I'll let you explain it. What's? What's the policy for me to bring in the truck? If you quit, mm -hmm. we, you know, we would we would hope for you to you know bring it in and we can send you home on right terms. But you know, we do have guys that when they quit, they just leave the truck where they are. Okay, and I'm I'm sure they get hit with an abandonment uh, if that's the case. Yeah, they do. Almost okay. definitely. All right, so then you know. Hundred seventy-five thousand dollar piece of equipment sitting on the side of the road. Right, right. All right. So my my question is this on abandonment. So let's say I do decide to uh, bring. Well, let's say I will bring the truck back. Um, would I have to be on the dispatch to bring the truck back, or can I just bobtail it back if I want to? Um, I I think it would just depend. I think it would just depend on the situation, man. Here, here at ShipX, I'll be, I'll be totally honest with you. Mm -hmm. We're, we take, we take most cases case by case. You know, we're not black and white. If this happens, then this is what, what's going to happen next. Okay. It's, we look at things case by case and situation by situation. All right, all right. Do you guys offer leasing? No, we don't at the moment. Okay. All right. 
for driver comfort man what amenity what amenities do you guys offer inside the truck okay so so brand new refrigerator 2000 watt inverters bunk heaters and the full Sirius XM package okay okay that sounds good what equipment do you offer so we haul or we drive Freightliner Cascadias and none of our trucks are older than two years old. Let me say that first. Okay. So we we're pulling 17, 18 and 19 for Freightliner Cascadias and Volvo 780s. Okay. Are they we, all? We oh, flip, go ahead. they're all automatic. Oh, okay. They're we all flip automatic. our, we flip our trucks either every two years or 250,000 miles. Okay. Okay. Does the truck comes with a drive cam? Yes, but it does not face inward, it faces outwards. Okay. Yeah, a lot of drivers, a lot of drivers is peeved on that. I mean, it don't bother me. It, it don't bother me whether it's uh, inward or outward, but, you know, some drivers is, is uh, you know, they, they feel some kind of way about that. Uh, what's right, the, but, you know, that, that drive can really can save your CDL, you know, in some situations. I've, I've seen videos where guys here working at ship x where they could have lost their cdl if they didn't have that drive cam on their side i got you what's the trucks governing that 62 on the pedal and 66 on cruise oh, okay how long how long do it stay on the cruise um, is, is there a limit usually <laughs> i didn't know well, i mean no i mean some drivers say they 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 you know they it's like 65 on the uh, i'm sorry 65 on the pedal and then 70 on the cruise but it only cruise for like maybe 10 minutes oh no okay i got what you're saying no yeah it, it stays it stays on 65 you know oh, okay. i i was talking to a driver down at the yard a couple weeks ago and he said there is like a you double tap the brake three times hit the gas pedal four times or something and then it'll kick the the governor up to 70 miles an hour oh, and so okay. you, for like passing reasons and that you can do that for 30 minutes here with us oh okay a day i think that, that sounds like a that sounds like a up up down down on the joystick a b a b <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah he was trying to explain it to me but i was like dude i have no idea <laughs> all right uh can i take the truck home yeah, I believe so. All right, all right, man. Well, I got a, I got a, just a few more questions, and that that would probably be it. Uh, do you guys off? Do you guys have an open door policy? Yes, sir, we do. Oh, okay. What? All right, Cooper, man. So far, so good. Uh, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people that's going to hear me talk about this uh, company with you will probably be interested in as well. So, you know, you might get an influx of calls, hopefully. Um, listen, man, what is, what is the number one reason for to drive for this company? For ShipX? Yes, sir. Uh, you're a name, not a truck number, man. You know, our DMs, our DMs, like, I feel like they're personally connected to our drivers. Like, they're not, it's not just, hey, truck 3205, where do I need to go, you know? They, they'll get you home when, when you need to get home for your home time, you know? They know how important, like, family time is and all that good stuff. Okay. You know, it's, I, I just think we have a really great family, family culture environment that a lot of trucking companies out there don't have. Okay. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Hey, man, is there anything else that uh, that you can offer that I haven't touched on? Let me think. We went over benefit. We have a rider policy. They just got to be 18 years or older. Okay. Um, we have a free a free pet policy. If you have a furry four legged friend that rides with you, okay, or you know a lizard or a snake or whatever floats your boat. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, all right, man. How how long you been a recruiter for this company, yo? Uh, about officially like three days. The, oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's still good though, man. That's still good. Hey, Cooper, man. No, yeah, I'm the I'm the processor here at ShipX, so I go through all the drivers' applications and pull all their backgrounds and all that. Oh, okay, okay. Cooper, man, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Awesome uh, information. 
Uh, sounds like an awesome company, man. I mean, I, 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 I mean, if man, I, I wish I would have, I wish I would have found out about you guys two, two, three years ago. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Well, um, so, so, what are you thinking? Are you looking to leave your current job now, or, or what boat are you in? Uh, well, the current company I'm with now, I'm still comfortable with them, man. Um. I'm still comfortable with them, but like I said, I, you know, I, I talked to, you know, I talked to a lot of recruiters, you know, just to see what the company's right. about because, you know, I got other drivers and other people that, that talk to me about, you know, different companies and they, you know, they say, Hey, you know, when you, would you find out for us, would you find out for right. us? Just, just let us know. Yeah. So, are you a are you a trainer or something or? Uh, I'm I'm a driver recruiter. Yes. Oh, gotcha. All yes. right. Are you? So you're not a driver? Uh, no, I'm a driver. No, I'm I'm a driver. I'm a driver. Uh, my current company. I've been with them for over a year and I, uh, for over a year, uh, and I've been driving total for going on four, going on four years. Oh, so you're 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 out like on the road driving and recruiting at the same time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's 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 pretty cool, man. Yes, sir. We do have a you know we do have a thousand dollar driver referral bonus as well, and uh -huh. we do have a referral contest going on. First place winner either gets a brand new Harley Davidson, brand new Ford F one fifty, or two twenty five thousand dollars cash. I'll take the F one fifty, please. <laughs> hey man, if you if you can bring in twenty five referrals that get hired, that that F one fifty is yours. Man. <laughs> Well, Cooper, man, thanks a lot, man. I really do appreciate your time, man. This, this is a, this is a bomb interview. Uh, good, at, uh, good, good information, man. Thank you very much. I will definitely pass this on. Yeah, definitely. And hey, if you do, just make sure, make sure they call Cooper. Make I, sure none, none of these other recruiters get them. I will make sure that I'll, <laughs> I'll make sure I got you. I got. I'll make sure that you get it, man. I'll make sure. And thanks for the time, uh, man. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Sean. Good conversation, man. All right, now. Hey, be safe out there, buddy. Thank you. Check this out. That was one of the best calls so far on this series of Lockout Men Makes the Call, man. Cooper, my guy, thank you, thank you very much, sir, for the awesome conversation, the awesome information that you gave on Shipbacks, and shout out to Sherry Fright. I cannot pronounce your name, but it's somewhere right along here. I, I know it, all right? Thank you for uh, Sharif. Shabri, I cannot pronounce your name, but it's somewhere right here. So thank you for suggesting that call. That is, woo, that's a good call, y'all. What y'all think? Ship X. Ship X. I mean, they, your medical is paid for. Paid for. You might have to pay for your dental and your and your glasses, but your medical 100 percent and what about what what about the salary man what about you when you sitting you getting paid dude why you in the why you in the sleeper you getting paid flabbergasted y'all i mean come on tell me what you guys think in the comments below about ship x and about the call if you guys have any questions that you want me to ask these recruiters, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for anybody else you want me to call, let me know in the comments below. My guy Cooper, check him out. If you guys want to get on with Ship Bets, they're located up in Utah, I think. Yes, Utah. And you get a thousand dollars, dude. On your way home, you're gonna get a thousand dollars on your on your Com Data card. Trucking answers. He said they doing it better. I think they doing it better. Shipbacks, Cooper. Great job, man. 
great job. Guys, if you want to know more about shipments, give my man Cooper a call. Let him know that you heard it first from Lockout Me. That's it for today's episode. I got to go. I'll talk to you guys later. But before I go, let me know who's next.